Nick Fuentes is a political commentator who strongly identifies as white. His whiteness has been a topic of debate for years, both among his critics and even within his own movement. Fuentes calls himself a white American, but the real question is, is he even white? In this video, I'm going to answer that question once and for all using schizo race science. We'll break down his ancestry, map out who he's actually genetically closest to, and compare him to groups across Europe, the Middle East, and the Americas. Let's start with his DNA. Based on his public 23 and me results and his own statements, I said I'm Italian, Mexican, and Irish. I said I have ancestry from Naples, Bari, Calabria, Mexico, and Ireland. I said Fuentes is a little over half Southern Italian. Since he's one quarter Mexican, the broadly Southern European part in his results almost certainly includes Spanish. Beyond that, he's about 15% Native American, around 13% Irish, and a small amount of Sub-Saharan African. This breakdown is an accurate estimate, and even just 15% Amerindian DNA makes a significant impact because of how genetically different Amerindians are from Europeans. Southern Italians make up most of his ancestry, and historically, they weren't seen as white in the US. They faced discrimination and were considered racially distinct from Anglos. Culturally, Southern Italy has long been a crossroads. Its music, food, and marketplaces show centuries of exchange with Arabs and North Africans. This is Arab way, you know, very loud. But this isn't just cultural. Genetically, Southern Italians carry significant Middle Eastern and North African influence. This came from Phoenician traders, Greek colonists, Roman era slaves from the East, Arab and Berber conquests in Sicily, and later Ottoman contact. Over thousands of years, these layers left a real imprint on Southern Italian DNA. According to Vahadur, Southern Italians sit closer to Ashkenazi Jews than they do to Northern Italians. They're also significantly closer to Levantine groups, like the Lebanese, than to Anglo populations such as the English. So when Fuentes leans on his Southern Italian ancestry as proof of being white, genetically it connects him more to the Eastern Mediterranean than to the Northern Europeans he identifies with. On top of that, Fuentes has about 15% Native American ancestry. That might sound small, but it makes a big difference. Amerindian DNA is extremely divergent from West Eurasian DNA, far more than the gap between Europeans and Middle Easterners. On a genetic map, Europeans and West Asians cluster fairly close together. Amerindians, however, are on the opposite end. That's why even a minority percentage would pull Fuentes far away from the European range. To test this further, I built a G25 simulation of Nick Fuentes' DNA based on his ancestry estimates. When we run this simulation through Vahaduo, basically a DNA GPS that shows who you're genetically closest to, the results are striking. Fuentes' closest populations are not Anglo-Americans, Germans, or Nordics. Instead, they are overwhelmingly non-Europeans and Roma, groups he would never consider part of white identity. His nearest matches include Olone, a Native American European mixed group, Mexican Euromestizos, Brazilian Brancos, Argentina Euromestizos, Puerto Ricans, Turks from Thrace and Anatolia, and Roma populations from Spain. And because his ancestry is predominantly Southern Italian, Fuentes is actually slightly closer to North African Jews than he is to white Americans. To put the divergence into perspective, a random Lebanese Muslim is genetically closer to Fuentes' Italian American mother than her own son is. That's how much even 15% Amerindian DNA shifts him away from Europe. So his DNA places him firmly among mixed Latin Americans, Turks, and Gypsies, not with the European groups he claims to represent. And don't let his lighter eyes or hair fool you. A North African Jew is biologically closer to Europeans than Nick Fuentes is. All of this raises a bigger question. Is Nick Fuentes white? And what does white even mean? Humans don't fall into neat boxes. They fall along a continuum. And genetically, there's a smooth continuum between Europeans and West Asians with no hard breaks. At one point, whiteness in America only covered Northern Europeans. Over time, it stretched to Southern Europeans, then to groups even closer to the Middle East. That shows whiteness has always been a shifting social status, defined and redefined over time. That doesn't mean there aren't real differences. A Swede and an Aboriginal Australian are clearly distinct populations, but within West Eurasia, the boundaries are blurry. A Calabrian and an Ashkenazi Jew are not meaningfully separate groups. So, is Nick Fuentes white? By the Anglo-American definition, no. By his own definition, which excludes Jews, 
No, again, since Southern Italians are genetically closer to Jews than to Anglos. And if whiteness means purely European, then even 15% Amerindian puts him far outside that boundary. By the very standards Fuentes applies to others, his claim to whiteness collapses. His ancestry shows whiteness isn't biology, it's a moving social label, and when applied to him, it falls apart. And here's the twist, if we define white as European, then Ashkenazi Jews, Lebanese Arabs, and some North African populations are genetically more similar to Europeans than Nick Fuentes is. That's the irony of his identity. So the final answer? By the rules Fuentes applies to everyone else, Nick Fuentes isn't white. The identity he built his movement around collapses the moment we look at his own DNA.